We're ranking gemstones from best to worst based on how good they are for everyday wear in jewelry. With interest in alternative engagement rings on the rise, we often find ourselves having conversations with customers to set expectations about the gemstones in their rings. The Mohs Scale of Hardness rates gemstones based on their scratch resistance, making it an essential tool when choosing jewelry. With the help of the Mohs Scale, let's talk about the best, worst, and in-between options that we most often talk to clients about. Keep in mind, this is not an exhaustive or definitive list. I know moissanite is a good stone for everyday wear, but we don't really find it in vintage jewelry. Of course, as we all know, there's no better choice than diamond if you want the hardest possible gemstone for your ring. Diamond has always been a popular gemstone for jewelry, but especially popped off in engagement rings in the 1940s. In 1947, a jewelry company called De Beers created a marketing campaign called Diamonds Are Forever that forever established the diamond as the traditional engagement gemstone by associating its level 10 hardness with everlasting love and commitment. As one of the most successful marketing campaigns in history, it deeply rooted the diamond in the engagement industry forever. Your next best choice of gemstone is going to be sapphire or ruby, which are both varieties of corundum. Red corundum is called ruby, while the other colors are all called sapphire. With a rating of 9, sapphire and ruby are hard enough to withstand normal everyday wear and with their variety of colors provide a rainbow of options for those seeking a non-diamond engagement ring. Some sapphires even have color changing effects where they change color depending on what kind of lighting they're in. Some sapphires and rubies have a star effect called an asterism which is seen in direct light. Another popular choice recently is alexandrite which is a color shifting gemstone that will usually appear a combination of blue, purple, and or green. Natural alexandrite is rare and expensive but created alexandrite is a great choice for a colorful everyday gemstone at an 8.5 on the Mohs scale. Rated at an 8 are both topaz and spinel. Both come in multiple colors. Treated blue topaz is an especially common gemstone that we find in estate jewelry. I want to focus in on spinel for a second though, because a lot of people have never heard of it, but it's actually been around for centuries and is often mistaken for other gems. The Black Prince's Ruby of the United Kingdom Crown Jewels is actually a red spinel. Spinels come in all kinds of colors, so they make a great choice of gemstone if you're looking for a splash of color in an everyday ring. Now let's look at Beryl, which includes Emerald, Aquamarine, and Morganite. These are rated a 7.5 or 8 and are usually considered acceptable for everyday wear. The nice light pinks and blues of Morganite and Aquamarine are great for people looking for a pastel colored engagement ring. The one to be extra careful with is Emerald. Natural Emerald tends to have a lot of inclusions, which makes them more prone to breaking. So while their hardness is generally considered acceptable, take extra care of your Emerald engagement ring. Now we're getting into the gemstones that we wouldn't immediately recommend for everyday wear. Our philosophy from here on out is, if the gemstone is very important to you, go forward with caution. The following gems are ones that are more frequently damaged with wear, and the further along in the list that we get, the riskier they are. You can find many varieties of quartz. The most common in our jewelry being amethyst, the purple variety, citrine, the yellow-orange variety, and rock crystal quartz, which has a really nice frosted look to it. With a Mohs scale rating of a 7, quartz isn't the best choice for everyday wear, but it's also not the worst. With a rating of 6.5 to 7.5, garnet is another gemstone to be cautious with. A lot of people like garnet because it tends to be a darker red than ruby and can have a very deep, rich hue. Garnets also come in multiple colors, like the green savorite garnet or orangey spessartine garnet, both with very beautiful, vibrant hues. Peridot comes in at a 6.5 to 7. We don't see many people seeking out peridot for engagement, but it does provide a very specific color for those looking for a unique shade of green. Also rated at a 6.5 to 7 are all types of chalcedony like onyx, agate, and carnelian. We have seen several customers seeking out onyx in particular, as many love the jet black statement that it can give a ring. Unfortunately, these are pretty easily scratched, so if you're worried about marking up your chalcedony engagement ring, you may have to replace the stone a few times during its lifetime. Zircon is another gemstone that comes in many colors and is one of the December birthstones, but at a 6 to 7.5, it's not the strongest choice for everyday wear. Moonstone looks beautiful in vintage jewelry, and we've had some lovely rings featuring this stone, but unfortunately, at a 6 to 6.5 on the Mohs scale, we wouldn't recommend it for every day. We've met quite a few people who favor opals, and I agree that they would make a beautiful and unique engagement ring. Unfortunately, with a score of 5.5 to 6.5, they're pretty easily damaged, and we'd really try to steer clear of this gem for engagement unless it's really sentimental to you. And of course, the pearl. While it's arguably one of the most bridal looking gems, with a score of somewhere between 2.5 and 4.5, these are some of the worst choices for engagement as far as hardness goes. 
These will show wear pretty quickly when worn every day, so if pearls mean a lot to you and you choose this for an engagement stone, be prepared to probably replace it several times in your ring's lifetime. Side note, seed pearls are often set in antique jewelry with glue, so rings with seed pearls are even more so meant for special occasions only. Where does your favorite gemstone fall in the lineup? Now let's talk strategy for wearing jewelry with lower ranking gemstones. Say that you have a really special attachment to something like amethyst and you love it so much and you want to wear it in your engagement ring despite the risks. Here are some tips for keeping your jewelry as safe as possible. Number one, choose a low profile bezel setting. Gemstones that are prong set and sit higher up off the finger are more prone to getting caught on things as you move about in your day to day life. Bezel settings secure a stone down in the metal so you're much less likely to cause damage by catching it on things. Number two, don't wear your ring all the time. Honestly, we recommend taking any ring off before sleeping, showering, exercising, or doing anything strenuous, but this goes double for the less hard gemstones. Number three, have two engagement rings. This might seem excessive to some, but it's a great option for those who want to get proposed to with a unique gemstone, but don't want to wear it all the time. Have an engagement ring that you only wear on special occasions, and then have a safer, more subtle ring to symbolize your commitment at all other times. Share with us in the comments. Do you have a ring that you wear every day with one of the less scratch-resistant gemstones? And if so, would you recommend? 